get a dictionary. Y'all, <clears throat> I had a time last night, okay? I know y'all haven't seen me in a few weeks in this holiday season, but first off, I'm doing this video for Dumbest Things We Did As Kids. Part two is not really part two, but it's an extension from the last dumb things we did as kids. I told you guys in that video to comment what is the dumbest things you did as kids. And when you guys finish this video, there is another question I want y'all to ask, and I will ask it, and I want you guys to comment on that. You guys can comment right now if you want to, but I'm letting y'all know before I even begin to talk about those comments or read these comments, I have to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Upside. And if you guys missed my other videos of me talking about Upside, I'm gonna talk to you about them again. Oh my God, I really came out here like this. This is not gonna be the whole video, all right? Just, just wait, just wait. I didn't know I looked like this. Jesus! So Upside is an app that can get you cash back on gas, groceries, and dining out. I'm sorry while I'm talking. I feel like you guys are commenting about my hair. You guys. Upside is an app that can get you cash back on gas, groceries, and even dining out. Personally, I use Upside when my gas is low. I see the nearest and sometimes highest savings, and I click, I claim the offer, I drive to the location, I check in, I pump, and I pay as usual with one of my cards that I stored in my Upside wallet and get paid. Simple. Not even that, I can even go into that store and get snacks and get cash cash back on those items. You can cash out anytime to your bank account, PayPal, or an e-gift card for Amazon and other brands. Upside literally offsets inflated prices by giving cash back on purchases. I probably would have cut back on things like getting my nails done or lattes, but because I earn cash back on things like groceries, essential stuff like gas and food, I can actually reward myself by getting my nails done and drinking lattes. <laughs> In comparison to credit card rewards or loyalty programs, you can earn three times more cash back with Upside. To get started, make sure you guys download the free Upside app in the App Store or Google Play. Use my promo code Alonzo and get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more, all right? I put the link in the description bar. Make sure you guys read on that. And while you guys are doing that, I'm gonna get my hair done and it'll probably be nighttime by the time I read all this. I don't even know if I'm going to edit this out. I look like buckwheat right now. So when I was between six and seven, I drunk some bubbles because I thought I could burp bubbles out of my mouth like the kid did in the movie Daddy Daycare. But instead, I ended up throwing up the bubble solution. Just one of the dumbest things I ever did as a kid because there was a lot was sneak out of my house when I was like three or four and walked to the neighbor's house because they had a swimming pool. Mind you, I did not know how to swim whatsoever. I still remember putting a huge flamingo floating in the pool thinking to myself, I'm so smart for doing this. Afterwards, I just jump on the floaty, flip over, and almost drown myself. My sister and I did the grocery bags on the arms too. We jumped off our bunk bed hoping to fly. Did every kid think they could fly? I don't, I think I'm the only kid. I think I'm the only kid that did, that knew that when it worked. Man, there was a lot. One I vividly remember is being five and swearing my stuffed animals could walk and talk. And one day I locked the door because they said they would unlock it. Had to replace the doorknob. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Did the mouth move at least? I don't, now I think I had imaginary friends growing up. I, I kind of still do sometimes. But I'm just saying, I don't, I, I, I you know what? I'm just going to keep this to myself. <laughs> No, I'm just gonna shut up. I'm 27 and can still fit in the dryer. I scare my husband with it on occasion, but I don't pull the door entirely closed. Let me ask you a question. Uh, how do you know you still fit in the dryer at 27? And why are you still, you know what? One of the best ones I remember, I tried to convince my elementary school friend that I had a pet crow. I called out to a flying crow, and by some cosmic coincidence, <laughs> it crowed in response. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's some shit. That's some shit. I'm, I think that person is me. I don't know because I'm telling you. I gotta read it again. Maybe y'all will understand why I'm laughing. All right, I'm gonna read it again without any emotion. Hold on. 
One of my best ones I remember, I tried to convince my elementary school friend that I had a pet crow. I called out to a flying crow, and by some cosmic coincidence, it crowed in response. Why am I the only person that understands this statement and how funny it is? Maybe because I can imagine it happening. Maybe I can see it. And how does that look out? Alonzo, the name of the bear was Smokey. McGruff was the crime fighting dog. That's right! I know, I know I was a Smokey the bear, the one that prevents forest fires. You know what? That took me a while. It was in the damn name! Y'all, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, you go to my previous video of why I'm reading these comments because I'm telling y'all, I was trying to get that, the, I think I got the dare dog or the dare mascot and Smokey the Bear mixed up because I spent about five minutes on that. When I was like four, I dialed 911 to show my one to two year old brother how to call the cops and then hung up when they answered, thinking they wouldn't really come if I didn't say anything. My brother and I both learned something that day. I'm telling y'all the truth I told y'all this before probably once or twice no more than three times this shit happened to me before too I don't know why I called 911 I honestly don't maybe because why did I call because no one was spanking my ass I don't know but I remember I was a child and I had dialed 911 I didn't even say anything I didn't say anything and then I heard them say something and I hung up immediately forgetting about it I don't know if it was I just, I just know I forgot about it. And then at that moment, I think I boo-booed in my pants. I think I did. Either that or my parents really did spank me so much that it, that memory just went out my mind because I don't know what happened next after I heard them three knocks. When I was a kid, I always tried looking behind the TV to see if I could see the people on the front of the TV. Right behind the TV like if they were inside the TV. I say TV one more time. I was in preschool when I thought that. I also was one of those kids who also tried to teleport into the Blue's Clues world as well. <laughs> I walked up to a willow tree to talk to them because I thought they'd turn into my grandmother like in Pocahontas. What? I remember seeing that movie in school, but I don't remember. When did a tree turn into somebody's grandmother? When I was younger, one of my favorite shows was Blue's Clues. That part when Steve says, Blue Skidoo, we can too. I tried jumping into a picture frame on the wall as well. Yeah, that broke the frame. Did it break the wall too? How many people jumping through TVs? Y'all, I think I'm the only one that did not. <laughs> Who raised y'all? No offense, I'm just, uh, it's an honest question. I just wanna know who raised y'all because. One of my dumbest moments was shaving so dumb, they had to put two emojis in between that one. One of my dumbest moments was shaving almost all of my eyebrows off. I was between five and seven years old. Mind you, picture day was the next day. My mom had to draw my eyebrows back on. I know I told y'all the time that I had, uh, I got teased from my eyelashes. I cut I cut them suckers off that same night because I had girly eyelashes. Y'all tell me why these suckers grow twice as length in less than a week. I was like, damn, I can't win. When I was in the second grade, this girl said I had boy eyebrows. Oh God, I just. I cannot make this up. I wanted to make my eyebrows small and I ended up shaving them off. My mom had to draw on my eyebrows for like three months. Three months? That's how long it took you to grow your eyebrows? I thought eyebrows and eyelashes were the fastest thing growing on you. Maybe someone could correct me in the comment section. I used to follow the YouTube spells to become a vampire. Damn, I never heard of that before. YouTube spells. You know what, something tells me I should not even look that up. When I was six, I thought the line to go get baptized was the line to McDonald's. <laughs> Let me find out you need to get baptized. <laughs> Let me find out you need to get baptized for a happy meal. Oh my God, so did they do it though? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Y'all, we have a vampire. <laughs> we have a vampire and someone saved all in one video. This is this, I can't make this shit up. 
I was like five and my aunt took me to her sugar daddy's pool. Damn. <laughs> you just gonna call your aunt out like that? You just... And I decided to take my floaties off and swim to the 12 foot deep side of the pool and almost drowned to death. <laughs> you had an aunt and a sugar daddy and they didn't try to rescue you? Burned my finger on a hot iron because I thought we were made of air. I thought I was deflating. <laughs> I don't, I don't think people ever advance yes. <laughs> You should do the dumbest things we did as an adult. Oh, I do want to do that. Y'all, I don't know if I'm going to get a, a lot of comments on this one, but you know what? Just between you and I, what is the dumbest thing you did as an adult? I will tell y'all the dumbest thing I did as an adult. All right, when I make that video. All right, so make sure you guys do that and I will see you guys with a new video pretty soon. <laughs> Bye.